Hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Jaylin, and we are from Popedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for all the projects across Singapore. Today, we will be discussing about Water Town. This integrated condo has 992 units and was TOP in year 2017. Located in the centre of Punggo, where Waterway Point is. It has a unique mix of 1 to 4 bedrooms. And today we will be analysing 4 bedrooms in the water town. We will go through 2 key factors for our analysis today. First is the surrounding 4 bedroom supply and what are their asking prices. And next, we'll be discussing on its entry price and how crucial the entry price will determine a right purchase and how, by choosing a good exit timing, you stand a chance to profit the most. First factor we are going through is surrounding 4 better supply and what are their prices ranging from. If we look into the current supply of 4 bedrooms in this area, you will realise there is ample of choices and options for the 4 bedrooms. Because being an on-stay estate, all the EC and condo, namely Treasure Trove, Park Central, Privé, Twin Waterfalls, Water Bay, and the Water Tower come with a 4 bedrooms layout, with price ranging from 750 PSF to 1003 PSF. However, this becomes extremely competitive when there are a lot of options, especially when the completion year is relatively close. Amongst 1 to 2 years, there will be a newly TOP condos project or MOP EC for buyers to choose from, which they will start to compare the surrounding prices and when the supply is relatively high while the demand is lesser, it is assured that the price will not hold very well. The next factor we are going in detail is the entry and exit timing. If we were to look into the 4 bedrooms in Watertown, there are only 3 profitable transactions and 5 unprofitable transactions. The profitable transactions went as high as 453000 while the unprofitable transactions made losses as high as 376000 Many are puzzled how come there are unprofitable transactions since these are day one owners and generally, many have the idea that the first owner or buying new launch will surely make profit. But actually, this is not true. If we were to zoom in closer, the owner who bought Stack 81 and Stack 85 is almost during the same period of time in February 2012. But there's a vast difference of 469 per square foot that is equivalent to 635,000 differences in terms of the entry price. And during exit, the owner in Stack 81 decided to let go the unit in 2017 where the supply is high. We have shared before in the previous video what are some of the supply we have in our 3 bedroom analysis in Watertown which you can click up and watch. So what does this mean? Buying in an early phrase may not guarantee anything if we have selected the wrong unit by paying an extreme premium, making our exit difficult. So my advice for buyer is, if you are looking for 4 bedder in Watertown, look at those units that was bought during the initial phrase with correct entry price not more than 1,400 PSF because they are more likely to give you great discount compared to those that are making losses. And my advice to the current owners is that if you are planning to grow your wealth, you can consider to sell since there is a 200 to 250 per square foot appreciation if you have selected the correct stacks. And if you are planning to hold or sitting on a fence, you may want to monitor the surrounding supply, for example, Sengkang Grand, Pasir Ris 8, and Woodleigh Residences because when these three integrated condo TOP, the market will have additional 134 units of 4 bedrooms which is of a similar size of what we have that may likely to affect the sales price. So, if there is a certain project you want us to review on, do leave us a comment in the section below. And if you find our video is useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons and we will see you soon! Bye! Bye.